Hi students, this tutorial is about how to upload an image using the new feature of drag and drop in HTML5 and since some of you have asked me about uh, this issue so I'm making a tutorial on how to uh, create a very simple drag and drop feature for your profile picture so you can uh, improvise from here to to implement modules whereby admin can drag and drop uh, restaurant images you know and things like that all right so yeah so I'm going to show you the the end product so this is the home page I've logged in so I'm going to the profile page yeah so just to again highlight uh, because this is a full web API architecture so I'm navigating to another page okay and instead log in uh, because when I was in the home page after I log in I actually write the token into the session storage so immediately when I am in this page the JavaScript will be fired off to check for the existence of that token and if it does exist then basically uh, I will show what I want to show otherwise maybe a good idea is to redirect to the home page because uh, then it shows that the user has not logged in okay yeah so this is the end product so basically this is the original upload file using the the file browsing of the uh, normal HTML file upload input okay so I just show it to you all right so let me, so maybe I choose batman right update okay and now if i go back to profile you can see batman all right so this is the new feature the new uh, drag and drop so i have a very simple div here all right and then uh, i'm going to just drag uh, captain american over here so immediately uh, i will update the image here but no updating or, or rather no sending of the payload to the web api yet until I press the update button okay so I press the update button so uh, at the point of time uh, it sends the payload it called the endpoint for the update profile and then uh, the the profile picture get updated in the database so if I go back to profile again right you can see the images has been changed okay alright so I'm going to just go through the codes so this is the original uh, profile image upload okay so if you want to uh, try out this you can check out the video on the uh, how to update the profile image uh, okay so you can check out the video right so I'm going to uh, modify or rather I'm going to add on uh, to to this particular page okay so this is edit.html right so uh, I'm going to <coughs> create one div okay it's a normal div okay so I've created one div here and And the div uh, basically has an ID called image underscore drop underscore error. Alright, so uh, I'm, I'm going to apply some CSS to it. Okay, so just for convenience, I'm going to just put uh, use it as embedded CSS. Right, so uh, basically give it some height, some width, uh, some border yeah okay yeah basically some just just to make it into a, a neat looking box okay something like that all right okay so uh the default behavior of a browser is that if i drop in an image or a file then basically the browser is going to navigate to that so-called the path of the file okay so if i drop it here right you can see that i'm going to the path okay so this is not what we want right so we need to do a few things in order to uh, avoid this behavior okay 
so uh, the original update profile JS is over here alright so uh, I'm going to continue from this JS file okay okay so the first thing I want to do is uh, let me just copy the okay so basically uh, I'm just creating a variable so uh, it can be var, it can be constant, there are some differences but in our context uh, it's quite trivial so we just leave it as constant uh, right so this is a reference to the DOM okay so we are selecting that DOM uh, yeah so this is this is a very uh, powerful way to select DOM uh, DOM meaning uh, document object model I think right so basically what it means is that uh, I want to select uh, an element, a HTML element, can be any element so long as it has an ID. Okay, yeah, so this probably doesn't justify why we use query selector because we could have used get element by ID. Okay, but uh, if you are if you need to select element uh, based on uh, like it might be impossible to figure out the ID or the class name and you need to look at other attributes yeah then document.querySelector is a very powerful uh, API for you to select the DOM element okay so basically now this variable uh, is referring to this element here okay okay then okay then uh, I'm, I have a event listener here so this is an event called dread over all right okay so basically uh, what so basically this is a new feature in HTML5 so when I drag over uh, basically uh, this drag over event uh, even though if I don't have this listener the drag over event will take place okay but by having an event listener we are telling the JavaScript or we are telling a browser that we want to react to the event okay so here here what we are doing is we want to stop propagation we want to prevent default uh, so in a nutshell basically we we don't want the default behavior which is uh, which is what you saw okay you saw the browser basically uh, navigate to the to the particular element okay so we want to stop that okay so we need two of such element in order to stop that behavior so the other one is uh, at event listener is drop okay yeah drop okay so now with that in place uh, now if we start dropping things here okay it's okay because uh, we are we are reacting to the event and we are saying uh, stop the propagation and stop the the default behavior okay so that's why you you don't see what was happening just now Okay, so let's continue. Okay, so basically we want to add more things to this part here, drop, because drop meaning the user let go of the left mouse button. Okay, so we want to do the things here. Right, so I'm going to just... Uh, okay so basically uh, here okay so basically here is I'm going to uh, get hold of the so-called the array of files that is in this event okay the event is a dropping event okay so through through this path here I'm getting hold of the array of the elements okay that the user has select yeah so this is an array because the user could have do multiple selection okay but uh, we just keep things simple and assume that the user is going to just select one image so I'm going to choose the very first item okay so the very first item okay and then I'm going to pass in to, an e uh, to a function okay I don't have this function yet so let me just copy this function here okay so let me paste the function here so now I'm calling this function so so basically uh, that file right will travel into this 
this argument here okay uh, this is just another way to write a method in JavaScript okay so here uh, here is something that we have done before previously on top okay if you take a look all right so it's quite similar so basically here I'm creating a new file reader all right and then uh, I'm asking this instance of the file reader to read this file okay okay the read to read the image file okay and then uh, when it has finished reading okay uh, this function will be called okay and and the result of the reading okay or, or rather the the base 64 after you read the file okay will be stored inside result I'm putting inside quite a high up variable called picture okay I can console.log to see the base 64 okay and then I update the the DOM okay uh, yeah okay this is an image tag okay I update the attribute dot SRC with the base 64 so this is pretty much similar to what we done for the normal file upload okay yeah so that's all so now if we maybe we can just uh, log out and log in to try again okay go to profile all right so this is the default one okay up, update okay let's go back to the profile again yeah so now we want to try to uh, try this drag and drop so let's put in iron man right so this will change uh, we shall see the base 64 bin uh, yeah okay so you can see the base 64 here is very long okay and then okay so if we don't click update basically uh, nothing is changed at the server side okay yeah because here is just all the client side processing so we update okay so update is the same uh, we are getting this uh, base 64 treating it like a string sending it as a payload as well as this telephone number sending it as a, as a payload to the server side web API so let's just change it okay update okay everything looks good let's go to the let's double check let's refresh it okay you still log in go to profile right so everything has been changed okay so this is a simple uh, drag and drop uh, example all right so it doesn't mean that you need to have both right so uh, I thought that this was an interesting new feature of HTML5 and and also some of you were asking me about it Alright, so thank you for watching this tutorial.